Alright, hello boys and girls. Today, you will be watching the legendary story time of the time I hit the game winner over the defending champs. It's going to be kind of long. I don't know, probably around 15 minutes. So grab your popcorn, grab your drink, grab your straw. I love straws. Oh. Um, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah. So get ready for the story time, and here we go. I'll explain the situation, and then we're going to go into the story time. You guys ready? Let's go. Alright, to set up the story, I am on the ninth grade Blackhawks team, junior high, one year in time, and senior high, getting ready for senior high, right? Alright. And, so we're the Blackhawks, we're going to face the Lions. The Lions, they're a very good team. Uh, probably one of the most talented teams in the league. We're like 50, like 50% 50 on the season. And, um, basically, everyone in Pea Ridge is going to be there because, um, they were giving out free t-shirts because, like, they're like our rivals and, uh, and they won the last championship. So that's another reason why, uh, everyone's going to be there. Um, the players, basically, um, the main focus players, okay, so Hunter is the point guard. We have Noah, he's the shooting guard, he's a shooter, he's a really good shooter. Um, I'm the I'm the small forward of the three. Mason's the four. West is the five. And then uh, the bench player that's Eric. He'll come into the story. Um, and then I think that's about it for the players. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so basically, I know two other players on the other team. Sai and Jake, kind of like Uncle Sai, you know. Okay. And then um, so my role on the team is that I can shoot. I'm 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 a three. I'm very tall. I'm like six. 6'2", maybe 6'1", at the time, and, um, basically, I shoot threes, and I play defense, I was the best defensive player on the team, and I shoot threes, and I play defense, right, okay, so I, I don't have that big of a role, I'm probably the most versatile player on the team, one of them, um, we have already beat them one time this year, but that didn't count towards our, um, conference record, and we're trying to get a good seed in the tournament, Okay, so that's it. Okay, so basically I'm just going to tell, now goes into the story time after the settings all set up. Let's go to the story time. Alright, so this is on Friday, right? Friday, last day of the school week. Everyone's tired, everyone wants the week in the start. So did I. We had a game, I was hyped for it. I love basketball, I love playing basketball, you know what I'm saying? We're going, you know, I'm just waiting for our basketball game. And uh, the high school does play after us, so that's that's another big reason why all the people are going to be there. It's a boring day until um, English starts, right? English has my favorite teacher, prob probably of all time, uh, Miss LaDuce. She's pretty cool. Um, probably my favorite teacher of all time. One of one of the best ones I've ever had. And um, so. Basically, when I got to her class, I was telling her the situation, like the game, you know, it's today. She goes, Brandon, you're going to do something special tonight, right after. I left, right, like, right when I was leaving her class. And I I, I kept that in the back of my mind. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do anything. I usually get, like, two points a game, you know. Said, I won't do anything. That's just what I thought. And then, okay. And then we're still at school. Um, and then Eric, Eric is, um, he's the bench player that I talked about in the, the beginning of the video, right? He, um, we were talking, he goes, hey, if this comes down to a clutch shot, I'm giving you the ball, Wally, that's all I'm saying. He said that during lunch, right? Not even knowing what's going to happen later. Um, yeah, so after that, um, I basically went home after school, right? Um, because we have like an hour or something to be back at the school, so I went home, you know, I'm eating or whatever, I'm nervous, lots of people are going to be there, you know, I know everyone's going to be there, but to be honest, I didn't think there's going to be that many people there, how many people there were, um, yeah, so now we're, now right, now we're going into the pre-game, alright, so now we're in the pre-game, it's about to go, we're hyped, let's go, you know what I'm saying? You know that feeling right before a game, you know, you start, your adrenaline's pumping, you know, you just want to get out there, you know. Oh, you know, you just want to get out there and start playing. You know, it's intense. 
when I but when I stepped out that door and I looked up, not a single seat was open. I mean, I I it's the most I've ever seen at a junior high game, and it was crazy. Just I got a little more nervous, but I mean, I I was ready still. I knew I knew what I had to do, and I was ready to come out and get a W. You know, play some lockdown D and regarding the best defender. Let's go. Or, Whoops, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Guarding their best dribbler and scorer and everything, you know, I'm, just, I'm psyched, let's go. Yo, whoa, whoa, real quick, how about this Abana right here? Four kills so far. Let's run it up, alright. Now we're going into the actual game. Alright, the game starts, slow game at first, then it starts to pick up pace. Basically during these games, I'm, I'm one of the leaders on the team. I basically don't go out. I basically play defense against the best player on the out on the court, and um, you know I just I just go out there and play. And this game, I was just on fire from shooting. I had in the first half, I had eight, nine, I think it was seven points, and I got the first I got the first seven points, and then I didn't score for the rest of the half, and it was kind of just slow. They started guarding me in the corner because that's where I hit the two threes, and then I got a. I got a free throw. Alright, so just so you guys know, today it's like a, it's a new day. Um, my head's actually hurting pretty bad. I don't know if I'll turn the sound up on the, the voice track, but to make it a little louder, but I'm not going to yell or anything. Um, and then, so basically after that, um, I can't remember what I was talking about. Basically, you know, I was telling you how I was doing that game, but when they got to that second half, second half, because we'll play four quarters, it was loud loud a little voice crack there it was loud i mean loudest junior high game i've ever seen and uh and then basically that takes us to um on my little clipboard here the things i need to talk about the shot um basically there are 10 seconds left um on the clock right no there's 20 17 there's 17 something like that 17 20 uh seconds on the clock Basically, we're in the huddle, right? Coach, um, just uh, I was gonna say, call him Coach. Um, what he he makes a game plan. So we have our shooter standing in the corner, our point guard at the top, our four or power forward at the also the top to set the screen for the one, and then um, the the five down low, just uh, just because we can throw it down there because we're only losing by two, and then. Basically, what happens is he tells us, all right, and he tells us all the options. Everyone has an option except for me. Basically, he tells, he goes, Watley, just go and stand in the corner. Basically, that's what he said. And uh, that that was my role, you know. I was there to shoot threes every once in a while. And uh, basically, we went on the court, and I wasn't really nervous just because I knew I wasn't going to get the shot. But when we got out there, Eric, Eric, I said at the beginning, the bench player, he goes, hey, Right before I go out, if you get the ball, be clutch. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get the ball. Whatever, I, I, I wasn't even thinking about it. So I uh, get on the court, stand in the corner, basically have my feet up, and not really. Just gonna stand in there. The point guard goes off the screen, the four sets, and he throws it down to the five. And it's a bad, it's kind of a bad throw. He catches it, goes down. He's under the basket, he can't really shoot it up. We need a score here. So what he does is he kicks it out, tough pass to me, with about 10 seconds left. I shot it weird, because that's how I shoot in the corner, and it just seemed like forever for that ball to go down. Like, you know, like when you're doing whatever, and it's just that ball will not go down, or, yeah, it just seems like it's taking a lot longer than normal. That That's what it felt like. It just seemed like the world was stopping. And when I, then, of course, I, I made it, I wouldn't be making a video, but I made it. And I, I, I started running down the court just to play defense because it's still time. And the whole crowd was just roaring. It was, it was amazing, honestly. Um, if I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, change that moment at all if I, if I had to. Um, and it was, it was amazing. Probably one of the best times of my life right there. Um, just because I love basketball and then I just. You know, everyone always dreams of hitting a clutch shot, and I, I got to hit that clutch shot. Um, and then, basically, 
what happens is that they still have 10 seconds, so they throw it down the court, call timeout, they get the ball, and uh, they pa basically pass to the corner. Guy, he's kind of contested, buzzer beater, he misses it. And that was my friend also, Jake, um, and uh, we won that game. That was very good because that's probably the most talented team in our league. Um, that's our second time we beat them. Um, unfortunately, in the regionals or whatever, you, uh, like our conference champion ch championship, uh, we lost to them by like three points or something like that. It was still a good game. But um, yeah, that's all for the shot. And basically, that's the that's it right there. And I'm just gonna talk about what happened after. All right. So now, after the junior high game, comes the senior high game. And we have this big student section. You know, everyone's wearing their white T-shirts that they got for free at the game. Everyone's there. Everyone period is just there. You know, I'm I'm hungry, so I want to get like a hamburger. So I need money from my parents. You know, I walk over there. It took me probably ten minutes to walk, where it usually takes like one, just because I had to go up aisle and shake hands with people. Um, it was honestly an amazing experience, uh, just to have the and. Um, again, I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, and then I finally got there, got back, and we were sitting in the student section. And it was just constant up and down, people saying good shot. You know, it for once I was actually kind of proud of myself for basketball. I had more confidence than I usually do. And that really helped me out through the rest of the season because our team went on a hot streak after that game. Won like eight games in a row or something like that. Basically, yeah, that's about it for that. Um, also, cause just because I hit that shot... The lady gave my hamburger to me for free. You know I love free food because I eat because I'm a grown boy. I'm 6'4". You know what we do, right? Now I'm at home. I get home, my phone is blowing up. It's constant people texting me, people tweeting at me, people texting me, people posting. I couldn't sleep that day just because the adrenaline was popping and everyone was texting me, all my friends, you know, good shot, good shot. Oh, it was amazing, honestly. And at school the next day, whew, it was lit, but you know what I'm saying? Practice was lit. Just because we won that game, we knew that we were undermatched. Um, and, you know, coach was like, oh, we don't have to run today. And I was like, eee. Um And then, uh, honestly, I didn't like the attention too much just because I'm not a guy that likes attention. But at our school, I'm not too popular. You know, every, everyone in our class knows me, but not everyone in the school. After this shot, Everyone in the school knew who I was, and that that was honestly amazing. Everyone knows me, and also one thing is that Miss Miss my my teacher. I don't know if I said her name at the beginning. It's been a day I've slept since then. Um, she called it. Just so you know. Alrighty, boys and girls, it is time for me to end this video. You know, even with this splitting headache, I had a blast remembering all the excitement I had. Um. And I'm just glad I could tell you guys just because it's a very heartening experience. And uh, I can't wait to tell you guys more stories. And let me tell you guys, next week's video is going to be a banger. All right, bye for now, okay? I'm not going to tell you any more secrets, but it's going to be a banger. But you guys, see you next uh, Monday or Tuesday. It might be later in the week. just could take a while to edit, but that's it. So, everybody, see you. I got, actually got to go this time. My head's about to freaking kill me.